Hey, Rob Romarino with Century Equipment. And Angelo D'Ambrosia. And today in our recipe for success, we're gonna be making cinnamon bun ice cream. Um, so every time we make an ice cream, we try to incorporate a bunch of different ingredients just to show the art of making ice cream. And so as you can see with this, uh, cinnamon bun ice cream doesn't really have a recipe, right? I know how to make cinnamon buns. Uh, I know how to buy cinnamon buns. I go to the store, the cinnamon store, um, but uh, in home, I just open that can and put them in the oven and they come up, but I don't really know how to make the ice cream. So I researched it, kind of looked at what the ingredients were. I didn't want to just buy a cinnamon base and go through your old recipe. I wanted to kind of create something. So I looked at what was in a Cinnabon. I saw it was brown sugar, some cinnamon syrup, um, some, some bread material, and I got a bunch of ingredients that I think might be a good recipe, and that's what we're gonna try out. So what I have here, uh, we have a 14% unflavored ice cream base. So we're gonna add some vanilla. Um, also, uh, uh, any Cinnabon, as uh, you know, has a nice brown sugar. So I'm gonna add eight ounces of brown sugar to our recipe. I'll throw that in. Right? I have some cinnamon syrup, give it some cinnamon flavor. And we want some type of, some type of starch right, in our cinnamon. So what I have is some ground up cinnamon streusel. Uh, there's two of these. I have one of quart and one 16 ounces. So I'm gonna add the 16 ounces into our recipe and I'm gonna fold in the quart of cinnamon streusel at the end. So now we whip all this up. You can see anytime I'm, I'm blending and whipping and creating, I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes first and foremost before I get it in that machine. I always use a nice clear round container so I can make sure that any syrups or variegates or anything or bases that I'm putting in are mixed well. So I'm gonna taste this. Throw it right there. Put that in that thing in. Let's see how this tastes. I think it needs a little bit more cinnamon. So what we're gonna do is I have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cine Dust. A couple dashes. I'm gonna mix that in and see what that does to it. After we're done blending this, and we're taking, uh, in, in this machine, this is our 12 quart machine. So we're gonna take five quarts of ice cream and we're gonna end up getting you know, nine quarts or so. So we're going to lose a little bit of the potency of flavoring after we blend it. So I wanna make sure that this thing is rocking. Uh, so if I lose a little potency in the machine, it's still gonna be good. I think so. Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Cool. Awesome. So we're gonna add this to the machine and get everything going. And remember, I'm gonna fold in about a quart of cinnamon streusel just to give it that kind of a uh, little bit of grainy, little starchy, crunchy taste when people are eating the ice cream. I'm gonna fold that in as it's coming out. So we're gonna add this in. Turn our machine on to about, uh, let's say roughly about, let's go for eight minutes here. We're gonna run our, our RPMs at about 200 RPMs. Uh, nice feature of our B12, our V models, is we have both an RPM, a variable speed motor. We can run high speed, low speed, depending on the type of overrun that we're trying to get. We also have a viscosity meter. So this is reading the actual viscosity, how hard that motor's working. Once I set the viscosity of my, my flavor, let's say this Cinnabon is gonna come out at a 45, I can actually go to set, set it at 40, 45, right? And then the machine's gonna cut off at 45. But since this is the first time I'm making this flavor, I don't know what I'm gonna get. So let's just get the actual setting and, and see where it ends up. Once I take this out, I'm gonna look at what viscosity I took it out at and that's gonna be my number for this recipe forever.